I've seen a few people online asking how to go about rigging a piston in Lightwave, so I thought we could take a look at setting that up. Uh, what I did was I got with uh, Lightwave artist Mike Rizzuto, and he supplied us this, uh, this nice little piston model. And uh, we're going to use a technique that I picked up from James Wilmot for rigging this, taking advantage of some of the new rigging options that uh, came about in 9.5. So uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just uh, dive in and get started. The first thing I need to do is create a couple of null objects that are going to help us with the, uh, with the rig here. So I'm just going to bounce over to quad view. Let's add a null and I'm going to call this goal. And I'm just going to slide it down and slide it over. But I want to zoom in pretty close just so that I can make sure that I'm getting somewhat accurate on my placement. I want it right in the center of this. And uh, let's take a look here. And that's going to be good there. Now, while I've got this selected, I need to make another null, but I need it in the same place. So I'm just going to go ahead and clone that. So I'm going to come over to Items, Clone. We just want one clone. And then I'm going to rename it so that I don't get confused. And I'm just going to name this uh, Connect. Okay. So now we've got our nulls and we've got all of our pieces. We just need to do some parenting. Now I could go over to the motion options panel for that, but I'm just going to head over to the scene editor and uh, let's see what we have. So uh, the piston head needs to be the parent of the arm here. So I'm just going to drag, left click and drag the arm to the head. And now it's a child of the head. I want the connect null to be a child of the arm. So I'm just dragging that over there. And I want the goal to be a child of the base here. So this item here. Okay. So now that I have everything parented, it's just time to set up some motion options. So I'm going to head over to M for motion options. And I'm going to grab the connector, the connect null down here. And I'm going to go to IK and modifiers. And for goal, I'm going to choose goal and it's got full time IK and you can see it's running up through here and so then I'm going to take the arm, I'm just going to select the arm come over to controllers and limits and for rotation I want whenever I rotate this base in the bank I want it to affect this arm so in bank I'm going to set that to inverse kinematics we'll come over to frame 10 select the base Y for rotate, I'm just going to lock heading and pitch so I don't accidentally rotate it in that and as I rotate this you can see it's going to rock the arm is going to rock back and forth of course it's not staying connected because it's parented to this um, this head here and I need that to slide up and down in this chamber so what I'm going to do is take advantage of position IK so let's go over to uh, this object the head come over to position and I want it to slide up and down being driven by inverse kinematics. So in the Y, I'm going to choose IK. Come back over to the item that's going to control that. And now as I rotate around, even if I ro rotate all the way around, that's going to stay locked in the Y using inverse kinematics. It's going to slide up and down uh, using bank on the arm. So I'm using uh, rotational IK on the arm and position IK on the head. So there we go, a nice little piston rig set up easily with some rotational IK and position IK.